Today we're going to replace a 60-year-old sewer line underneath the driveway. And the way we're going to do that is by the trenchless method. So we have to get the pipe through there. And you can see we had to get creative with this pipe. We went under this privacy wall here. Then we had to go up through the ceiling right here. And then even up on the roof. They're all done a little bit differently. Right here we're going to the property line. You can see that clay to Orangeburg transition. And this is the pipe we're going to replace. And then over here is where the pipe comes out of the house. We've already removed the Orangeburg pipe and even ran the cable all the way to the other side of the property there. So this is going to require 40 feet of pipe. So we have to fuse two pieces of pipe together. So we used our double planer. And then right here we have the heating element. We have to wait till this gets to be 500 degrees. And what this allows us to do is melt or fuse the two pipe pieces of pipe together. We sandwich it in between the joints that we just planed. Let it sit there, take it out. Then we squeeze the pieces of pipe together gently. Make sure the vise is tight. We want this part perfect. I'm gonna look closely at these beads to make sure they're perfect and they are. So now we're gonna get this pipe on the roof. And like I said earlier, we always have different methods of routing this pipe to snake it around to get it under the driveway. On this one, we thought the privacy wall might've been a problem, but then we were lucky when we saw these holes that are meant to allow the rain and the sun in. You could see it there going through the holes there and then we're gonna come down. Now we have to uh, install this six inch bullet head. And what the bullet head does is it bursts the pipe and then pulls the new pipe behind it. Because the bullet head, you can see it's six, it's six inch, so it's two inches bigger than the pipe itself and two inches bigger than the pipe under there. These here are the jaws that pull the rope. There's an upper set and a lower set. Inside, you can see the texture that grips this wire rope. Here we are installing the jaws. We've already installed the upper set and now we're doing the lower set. And here's our hydraulics at work. And it's attached to the pump. We use this remote to control the up and down motion of it or to stop it if we have to. And then here's the gauge on our pump. It's a 6,000 PSI pump. We always try to stay 5,000 or lower. And there's our hoses run from the hydraulics to the pump. You can see the length of the driveway. There's the last of the pipe going under the wall. And then here we are at the other end where the hydraulics are.